folk, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. The main purpose of my blogs right now is to talk about what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum, to um, helping those of you that also live on the autism spectrum tackle each and every day problems like uh, handling a neurotypical person that is just plain being a pain in the butt, to uh, talking to uh, you neurotypicals who I feel are, again, being a pain in the butt. Um, I uh, notice that a lot of people like it when I uh, tend to voice my opinion, so I'm sticking with my theories and my opinions on that. But I would also like to see my blog turn into a, a mini Good Morning America series for the geek world right here on YouTube. And uh, rather than talk about the latest fall trends or um, what you can bring to a picnic or how you can tackle um, taking your child to school, I'm more interested in talking about um, taking steps to attending your first convention, uh, to doing a little more uh, further research um, as to whether or not you are going to be interested in Doctor Who, to... Uh, to the latest trends and fashions at conventions like Dragon Con and Comic Con and Wizard World and um, Anime Weekend Atlanta and uh, and Mama Con, whatever. So, um, in leeway to talking about the geek world, I'm here tonight to talk about a convention that I attended two months ago. No, it was not a sci-fi convention, but there are, there are a lot of nerds that attend this convention. The name of this convention is called Furry Weekend Atlanta. Now I know what you all must be thinking. Furries are all perverts, they're all homosexuals, they're all they're all dirty people, the convention is like Sodom and Gomorrah, and uh, here's what I have to say about that by uh, posing a stereotypical threat. Number one, um, the majority of the people who do not attend the, the convention are not all homosexuals. I mean, yes, there's a, wide, there's a huge population of them that attend, but according to my research, I found that the majority of the people that attend the furry convention are, um, are, are young couples um, who, that are uh, quite heterosexual and uh, there are parents that are interested in uh, taking their kids to look at the fursuiters because uh, it's just like going to Disney World or just like going to a football game and seeing your favorite mascots all over again. Um, uh, the uh, furry conventions, I found out, have a uh, wide variety of people who attend that have a lot of skills in um, you know, in technology and um, in music, a lot of them are artists, a lot of them are, um, are writers, a lot of them are, you know, are just really, really creative. And um, what is so amazing about these conventions is that there are people that come from all over the southeast to, just to go to this very convention and um, they spend months and lots of money um, working hard on making their own fursuits. And, um, and none of these fursuits are cheesy. I mean, I mean they, ha they, they have all kinds of fur textures that um, are top of the line. They have, oh, I don't know, some of them put lights in their, in their paws and, uh, and their eyes. And, I mean, they have all kinds of creative ideas that go to work. I mean, some people go in and they um, they uh, they mix together uh, one or two types of animals. Like there was a guy that uh, goes every year, and his uh, fursana is a wagon, which is a wolf and a dragon. And I thought that was really really funny. And then uh, we have people who have walked in there dressed up as dragons um, we've and, and then there and then we have people like myself who do not dress up in fursuits I mean in fact the majority of the people who attend the con just go and they they wear ears and a tail 
and uh, they uh, they show other ways that they're furries or they're interested in that world by bringing plushies and um, interacting and talking to other people. Now, I found that the majority of the people that attend these conventions are incredibly funny and just enjoyable to be around and. Um, you know, it, you know, a, a very weekend Atlanta for the most part, um, for me, is a place to go and relax and a place where I can feel like I'm myself. Um, like I said in my earlier videos, I'm not interested in going shopping at uh, some of the top scale malls, uh, high scale malls here in Atlanta for the latest designer jeans that uh, from 500 to um, a thousand dollars. No, I'm more interested in attending something like a furry convention and um, going and I can really be myself. Um, so, um, anyway, in uh, leeway to this year's uh, furry convention, I uh, had taken a, uh, a series of small videos and um, I'm going to be posting those on YouTube as a part of my blog. So, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Bye.